Okay, today we're going to be doing pre-algebra worksheet number 12. Today you're going to use the distributive property, then group again. Okay, so let's look at our three examples. Okay, remember, you're going to take this, it's like your Bluebell truck, and you're going to distribute it to the stores that are inside the parentheses. So on this problem, the 2x and the 5 are the stores. The 8 is not in the parentheses. So the Bluebell truck will only go to the 2x and the 5. It will not go to the 8. Then you'll do 3 times 2x, which is 6x. 3 times a negative 5 is negative 15, and then you got negative 8. When you get to this step, you'll single underline and double underline. Okay, so we have one single underline, 6x, and then we have two double underlines, 15 and 8. There's more 15s than 8s, so the negative drops. The 15 shaded and the 8 shaded, so you would combine them up and get 23. So 6x minus 23 is your answer. The second problem right here, the negative 2 is our Bluebell truck. It's going to distribute to the 7y and the 8. It won't go to the 6y. So a negative 2 times a 7y, a negative times a positive is a negative. 2 times 7 is 14, and our letter is y. Sign, number, letter. Then we're going to have a negative times a negative is a positive. 2 times 8 is 16, and the negative 6y drops. Then you will single underline and double underline. So I have two single underlines. There's more 14s than there are 6s, so I'm going to drop the fourth negative, and then the 14 shaded and the 6 shaded. They're all shaded, so I'm going to add up. I would have 20 shaded Ys, wouldn't I? So sign, number, letter, and the plus 16 drops, so this would be your answer. Right here, the negative 7s are Bluebell truck, and it's going to distribute to the 3x and the 4 in it. Okay? The, this 3 will not get the negative 7. It's not in the parentheses. Then a negative times a negative is a positive. 7 times 3 is 21. Our variable is x. A negative times a negative is a positive. 7 times 4 is 28. The 3 drops. Then you will single underline and double underline. Okay. Then you will group. You have the 21x drops. There's more 28s than 3s, so the sign's plus. The sides are different. These are open. These are shaded. I'm going to take 3 away from 28, and I would get 25. Okay, all these problems, and I didn't leave you a lot of room to write here. That's kind of my fault. Okay, so on this problem right here, we're going to distribute the negative 2. So negative 2, negative 2. A negative times a positive is a negative. 2 times 7 is 14. My letter is X. A negative times a negative is a positive. And then I'm going to have a plus 8 right here. Then I'll single underline and double underline. The negative 14x drops. And then 8 plus 8 is 16. So negative 14x plus 16 is my answer. And then let's go over here. We'll do this one, number 3. I'm going to take the negative 2 and distribute it to the 5 and the 3. A negative times a positive is a negative. 2 times 5 is 10. My variable is y. Sign, number, letter. A negative times a negative is a positive. 2 times 3 is 6, and then I have a minus 7. Then I'm going to single underline and double underline. There's only one single underline, so the negative 10y drops. I have more 7s than I do 6s, so the negative drops. These are open. These are shaded. I'm going to take 6 away from 7, and I would get 1. So my answer would be negative 10y minus 1. Going to continue to do the rest. I'm going to uh, redo this so you'll have more room up here to write so the worksheet you get will look a little bit different than this, okay? But always believe and have a great day.